<laughs> well, Banji okay, sort of says, um, shame unto Atiku and Obi for the fame in Nigeria, all in the name of politics. Godwin Osato says, Obi was out there to destroy Nigeria, knowing full, full well that he lost. Uh, Nelson Adufe, on this presidential litigation, I can beat my chest that the judiciary has done their due diligence. The problem is lawyers of PDP and Atiku who are professional parasites and making all the dollars. Uh, that's according to him. Uh, Fabian Akaize says, I blame every Nigerian politician for this crisis. The Nigerian youth are unemployed and idle. Therefore, they can be easily manipulated as they spend all their wake waking hours on X, IG, and TikTok. Joseph Amotayo says, the rise of Obi is as a result of Buhari's misrule, putting the economy in jeopardy. However, Obi is falling the same way he rose. Uh, just production, uh, this, this will be the last I'll be taking. When Supreme Court reinstate Obi, they were good then. When they prevent Obasanjo from removing yeah. Atiku, they are excellent. But now, when the, matters go, uh, when the matter goes against them, Supreme Court is biased. You know, because of our time, BKO, this is already, you know, uh, more than 30 minutes, which we planned on doing today. That will be our show for today. Uh, I, I, I particularly... I particularly like uh, the all the comments. I like all the comments, but the last point, you know, uh, the last comment that you read, talking about um, when Obasanjo tried to bully Atiku, the Supreme Court said no. Mm. You cannot chase Atiku away because it's a joint ticket. Obasanjo wanted to send him packing. The Supreme Court came to his aid. Atiku defeated Obasanjo like 12 times on the bounce. Thanks to this same judiciary. If Atiku will join them in destroying the judiciary, then shame on him. Mm. Because this same judiciary was there for him when he had nobody to rescue him from Obasanjo's uh, high-handedness. The, the Supreme Court, the judiciary, saved him. Today is watching his people destroying, I mean, attacking calling ju the judiciary names that is the same judiciary that he had benefited tremendously from when he defected from the pdp and joined the uh, ac mm. they wanted to as a result of that uh, it was the current governor of Kaduna states ubasane went to court that the court should declare that he was not a candidate because the law says the votes belong to the party. And Atiku had left the PDP. I mean, the uh, yes, the PDP at that time. The Supreme Court ruled by split decision of four to three. It was a tough day in the, in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled by a verdict of four to three in favor of Atiku. Today, Atiku appears to have forgotten because of his, his uh, unbridled appetite uh, for power. He has forgotten all that the Supreme Court did in his favor. Yeah. He would not have been the person that he is today if the Supreme Court had allowed Obasanjo to crush him at that time. If the Supreme Court had allowed Senator Obasanjo to crush him at that time. But he won by a narrow margin of four to three at the supreme court that's right that's today right. the shoe is on a different yeah. foot they are calling the supreme court names that's what we see nigeria is greater than nigeria is greater than each and every one of us we have to be careful what we say and what we do